All right, boys and girls, it is a cold morning, real foggy. I don't know why it's been so foggy in Cleveland, Ohio. But anyways, I'm out here taking a morning stroll, and there's a new firmware update for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 that adds in some pretty important features that we're going to talk about in this video. But before I do that, I need to color grade this video because it's a D-Log M and I need to convert it and color grade it. You know what? It's almost like Terry has nine custom LUTs he made for the Osmo Pocket 3 that handle both of those. So all you got to do is slap it on top of the footage and voila. So you know what? I'm going to pick this grade right here. And if you want to grab all nine of them, there's nine of them in the package, just hit the link in the description. So anyways, like I said, some pretty major features that have been added to the Osmo Pocket 3. Let's go ahead and talk about them. To perform this firmware update, all you need to do is literally just turn on your freaking Osmo Pocket, fire up the DJI Mimo app on your phone, and it will do everything automatically. It takes a minute or two to download, takes another two minutes to install, and voila, you got these new features. So the first major feature is this new feature called record cancellation. So I can't tell you how useful this is because there's so many times where I start recording on the Osmo Pocket and it's getting blown around in the wind right now, but I didn't mean to start recording and I got to go through the menu and, you know, select it and delete it. Well, now if you press and hold on the power button while you're recording, it will actually cancel the recording and delete it automatically off of the SD card. This is such a game changing feature with the Osmo Pocket 3. It literally fixes one of my biggest annoyances, but I got more. Oh, this is about to suck because I am so sore. Anyways, listen. DJI says that they have tweaked the volume and gain performance of the DJI Mic 2 when using it with Osmo Pocket 3. Before we would import the footage in a post, you always had to freaking apply some gain because it wasn't being recorded loud enough. DJI says that they fixed it. I don't have a way to verify it because I'm using the camera right after firmware, but there you have it. Remember the last firmware update where DJI added the ability to record the internal mics will record them with the external mic like DJI mic 2 well that was dope but the only problem was it recorded everything in freaking mono which made no sense to me I got all these microphones on board the Osmo Pocket 3 and I connect another microphone and let's record everything in freaking mono made no sense well now that has changed. So when you turn on backup recording in the Osmo Pocket 3, and you connect the mic to, it will flip everything over to stereo for the backup recorder internally, which is fire. They also said that they tweaked the performance of the mic 2 when using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 as a webcam. So I guess before people were having problems when they connected it, they were getting static. I mean, I never had this issue, but you know, some people were. Well, now that's supposedly fixed, okay? And again, I haven't tried it, but that's what they say in the patch notes. Now I gotta get up and this is about to, oh, this sucks. Ooh, let's get cold out here. I'm all up in your face. Listen, I looked at the YouTube analytics the other day and it's a shame. 90% of y'all be coming back, watching my videos, and don't subscribe. Disloyal. <laughs> if, if you like the videos, why not subscribe? Take a second, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when new videos go on on top of that. Now, DJI also fixed the selfie flip mode. So before, when you flip the camera around in selfie mode, all of the freaking controls were reversed with the joystick. So if I wanted to go right and I press right on the joystick, the gimbal went left and vice versa. So now they fixed it to where when you turn on selfie mode, the gimbal goes wherever you actually press on the joystick, which is fire. The other thing that they fixed is, I don't know how many of y'all have done this, but you know, when you plug up the Osmo Pocket to a computer, it goes into webcam mode or USB mass storage mode. And when you unplug it, it kind of just freaking sits there, okay? There's been so many times where I picked up the Osmo Pocket after transferring some footage off and the gimbal was hot. Or either I left it on the couch or something like that and all of a sudden I hear beep, beep, beep gimbal powering off. And I'm like, that's so stupid. Why wouldn't it just turn off when it got done? Well, now DJI has fixed it, okay? So now when you unplug it from the computer, it will stay in whatever mode that you chose, but you now have to press exit, okay? and the gimbal will stay locked until you press exit so no more gimbal turning on and all that stuff after you unplug the osmo pocket 3 i'm out of breath because i'm carrying this freaking stick in front of me anyways pause <laughs> anyways uh dj also said that there's some other bug fixes i went through the menus I didn't find too much stuff, nothing worth talking about. Uh, but anyways, you need to go ahead and perform this 
firmware update right now. These are features that you don't want to miss out on. And obviously, you definitely want to get those LUTs we talked about at the beginning of this video if you really want to make your video saucy. And the last thing, I wore these Ray-Ban Metas out here because it's cloudy. And these are the amber ones. And they give everything like an orange tint to them. I got a whole video on the Ray-Ban Metas. If you want to check it out, I'll put that right up there. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and update your stuff. And until next time, I'm out of here. Tyson, Terry Warfield, piece of chicken grease. I'm out. Peace.